Hello! In this tutorial, we'll go over how the Nifty Auto Rig Pro add-on can not only quickly create an elaborate rig for your mesh, but also add a level of control over your motion capture data. So here's where you can get the add-on, and I should point out that we'll be working with the paid version. It's $40 well spent, in my opinion, and can really save some headache if you're looking to make animated shorts. If you don't have the add-on yet, go ahead and make the purchase and download the files. If purchasing the add-on is out of the question for you at the moment, you can check out my video on using the NLA editor with Mixamo for a way to edit motion data with free tools. So here in Blender, we'll head over to Preferences and install the add-on. We'll only need to select the main Autorig Pro zip for this tutorial. We can find the add-on's controls in our Properties tab. We'll start by selecting our meshes to be rigged, heading over to the Autorig Pro Smart tab, and hitting Get Selected Objects. We'll now be prompted to position a marker for each of the guide areas for the rig. So let's do that now. And now that we have the markers in place, let's hit Go and refine the meta rig just a bit in edit mode. And now let's hit match the rig to get our controls. And as you can see, now we have an armature that's much more wieldy than what we would get from Mixamo or a BVH file. Let's load in an FBX of this character from Mixamo and assign the Mixamo armature as our source armature. Then let's freeze the armature. Let's now assign our generated rig as a target armature and hit Build Bones List. Once that's done, we can import the Mixamo FBX IK preset. This will match the naming conventions of a rig to the Mixamo armature. Let's hit Retarget, make sure the frame range specified is correct, and hit OK. And here's what we get. So in some cases, minor adjustments can be made by selecting a controller and moving the graph on the channels that need editing. And we can remove keyframes for any controller we want to animate over. Alternatively, we can use the NLA editor to override animation for some of the controls. In this instance, I retargeted another animation to the rig and by pushing down the current animation into an action, I can move certain joints around and just insert a keyframe after I make the change. So I've got one more thing to show you, but before that, a short plug. If you need some extra rendering power, you can take a look on our garagefarm.net render farm where we provide top quality CPU and GPU rendering services in best prices on the market. <laughs> Using coupon code visible in our video cards and video descriptions, you can register and get $50 totally free render credits. Type the code in proper place while registering, create an account and test our render farm for free. Happy rendering! Alright, back to it. Another cool use case is adding a separate animation over an existing one using the NLA editor, and this can be done without Auto Rig Pro as well. So in this scenario, I want to have this guy play his loot while doing a spin. And to achieve this, I'll retarget a dancing animation from Mixamo, uh, this time adjusting the scale manually since I just used a Mixamo dummy mesh for this one. And once the animation is retargeted, it will override the existing animation. Now in the NLA editor, I'll push down the new keys into an action strip and tab into edit mode for the strip. From here I can select all the controls of the upper body of the character and clear out the keyframes. And now only the animation on the legs and feet are overriding the animation below it. And that concludes this series of tips. Hope this was useful, and as always, happy rendering.